How often do you put on something brightly coloured and then you think, hmm, what am I going to wear with it? I love this fuchsia. It's one of my favourite shades, but it's quite a strong shade. The second question I always ask myself is, shall I take inspiration of that colour onto my eyes or onto my lips or onto my cheeks? Dependent on the cut, casualness of fabric, shape of that outfit, denotes where I put it on. It's quite a weird one and I'm going to try and vocalise it as I go on. I start with a little skincare routine. I'm very aware when I do my makeup that I show you my hands and I haven't had a manicure for a while. Whenever I put on hand cream, on anyone who uses hand cream, this is like 101, but I, I do it like this so I don't get too much on my hands. Bully, B-U-L-Y, is a beautiful Parisian brand. I'm going to do three products from Beauty Pie and I bought Beauty Pie along the way and there's certain products in Beauty Pie I really love. So Japan Infusion, the skin prep, this one is sort of what I would call an essence. And when you're asking yourself, what's the point of having an essence? It's really important to know the difference between an essence and a toner. So to me, a toner is usually clear. It can be a spritz, it tones your face. An essence is a more complex inky list ingredient list and it will have a combination of things. It's generally not a clear product unless it's a real acid-based essence. Essence to me, they're slightly milky. It refreshes your skin like a toner does, but it hydrates it. I'm then gonna do a few little um, antioxidant drops. This is just their daily one. It's not to do with the Japan range. It soothes, protects and boosts with energy. Nice smell, slightly lemony. And I'm gonna end with their triple hyaluronic. The purpose of a hyaluronic is to retain the moisture inside your skin. But because this is a triple hyaluronic, that is referring to the size of molecule. So I've got that on, I'm prepped. Gonna go straight now for BFF. I do want to bring color to my skin. I'm still going to do light medium, but I'm going to do a little bit of bronzing. I've got prep skin, and I'm going to do a little bit of under eye first, and I'm using Mary and Redder. Tapping it on with BFFI, to me it's really an eye serum, which happens to have tint in it. That's the way I look at it. All BFF is that, they're sort of skin carry. So there's vitamin C, there's two peptides, there's a little hyaluronic in there. So there, nice prepped under eye. This is my inspiration, is a little bit of that sort of plumminess with a little bit of softness and a tiny bit of goldenness. I have actually taken two and put them together because this is a combination I use often. A little bit of fortune just to give that overall coverage on my eye back and forth and then blend it. Fortune's a wonderful immediate effect colour. I'm now going to take Dahlia. This is where I'm going to be far more careful. So I'm going to start with a little bit like that, but the colour inspires me. I'm just going to tap that in to get some colour wash of the Dahlia. And the other side. You can use the tea kit if you don't want to have anything on your fingers, but I just, I love that sense of my finger is the right size to go just under my brow. So you can just see now my eyes beginning to pop. So I'm very tempted to do a little bit of munchkin on my cheeks, which is the darker shade that we have in lip to cheek. It's a real sort of dirty, plummy color. But I'm going to take a fraction of the Dahlia, like a fraction, and then I'm gonna rub that together in my fingers. Go down to the middle of my eye and the middle of my nose, meet that point. So I do a little bit with my finger and then I get my clean finger and I just blend it. Yeah. So I'm beginning to get that color in my face. So all I really need to do is to do some Talika eyelash conditioning gel on my eyebrows. I usually brush them straight and then I brush them up a bit. I'm gonna do a little bit of mascara and I'm using at the moment Guerlain. I'm gonna just about to get my lashes redone. So, um, I'm just going to bung it on. And now, what do I do with the lips? Because still, if I look at this, I know I'm going to want some bronzer. So I'm gonna do that now before I put my lip on, Gensta and Suala. And the reason I'm taking a mixture is I am really researching now, do we do an in-between shade? So I like to start near the hairline, but not right by the hairline, because I don't want to have a sort of, you know, embarkation line. And then I just really feel I put the focus on the boniest parts of my forehead because that's, if I was actually in the sun, that's where it hits. It would be slightly darker here and then it would probably be paler where I'm more fleshy. And I think with this color, 
I quite like a tan. So I'm going to go back to a bit of Dahlia, a little bit more, uh, and sort of lead that into the bronzer. Then I'm going to get the smidgenist of Dahlia, like that. Do you see what a smidgen it was? And I'm going to get my tea kit and I'm going to blend that all in. I'm going to take Dahlia, like that, a little bit of Sasha, mix those two together, and see what shade comes out of that. Oh, no, I like that. I like that because the eyes in the end have been quite subtle. So I end up now, it's interesting, it's a process, makeup is such a process. 1980s moment for a second. But I sort of like that. I'm going to take a little bit of Maddie just to tone it down, soften it up. And then I'm going to do a tiny bit of Miracle Blur. So I'm just going to take away that there. And I'm going to go back to that blusher, I mean the bronzer, because I'm really into this now. And I'm going to go, Bruno, 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 Bruno. I just like that wellness. So that's it. This is my, when you're wearing a bright colour and you feel a bit washed out, what kind of makeup look. Um, so it was mainly Dahlia on the eyes and the lips and a tiny bit on the cheeks. I did a little bit of Fortune, so I'm gonna show you that with my Dahlia mix with my Fortune. I always do that with colors when I wear them a lot together. A little bit of a mushed up Sasha, which I put on, and then I finished up with a mushed up um, Maddie, and then I did a mixture of Genster and Swala to get that kind of color. Thanks for watching, ladies, bye.